In the heart of Sichuan, nestled among breathtaking mountain ranges, lies a place that looks more like a painting than a city. Rolling peaks, endless greenery, and misty skies give Chengdu an almost dreamlike beauty. But hidden within this serene landscape, China launched one of the most daring engineering projects the world has ever seen. In just a matter of weeks, engineers planted more than 9,000 tons of explosives beneath those mountains. The goal? to literally erase over 300 mountaintops from the map. Why? To create enough flat ground to build an airport so massive, it would reshape not only Chengdu's future, but the way the world looked at China's infrastructure power. Most people thought it couldn't be done. Flattening that many mountains sounded closer to science fiction than reality. But less than a year later, China proved the doubters wrong, unveiling an international mega airport in record-breaking time. And the story of how they pulled it off is even more shocking than the numbers. To understand why China was willing to blow apart mountains for an airport, you first need to understand Chengdu itself. This city isn't just any regional hub. Chengdu is the beating heart of Sichuan province, a cultural capital famous for its spicy cuisine, giant pandas, and deep history. It's a magnet for tourism. In 2024 alone, Chengdu welcomed a staggering 306 million visitors, including over a million international tourists. That's more than the entire population of countries like Germany or the UK showing up in one city in a single year. But there was a problem. The city's existing airport was already bursting at the seams. During peak travel seasons, plane tickets sold out weeks in advance. Delays piled up. For a city looking to open its doors to the world, the bottleneck wasn't roads, hotels, or attractions. It was the skies. The solution, in the eyes of China's government, was bold and immediate. A brand new, world-class international airport had to be built. And not just any airport, but one that could handle tens of millions of passengers a year, rivaling the busiest in Asia. The price tag? Over $10 billion? The timeline? Almost impossibly short. But there was one enormous obstacle. Where on earth do you put an airport of that size in a place like Chengdu? At first glance, Building a mega airport might sound straightforward. Find a patch of flat land, pour the concrete, and construct the runways. But in Chengdu, nothing about that was simple. The city sits right on the edge of the Sichuan Basin. To the west are towering mountains rising thousands of meters into the sky, part of the same ranges that lead toward Tibet. To the east, the terrain is no easier. Rolling hills and uneven plains, sitting at an elevation of around 750 meters. In other words, the geography was almost the exact opposite of what you'd want for an airport. Flat land large enough to host multiple terminals and runways simply didn't exist in the immediate area. For months, teams of geologists, engineers, and planners scouted every possible location around Chengdu, searching for a place that would work. After intense study, one area emerged as the best option, Lujia Town, still within Chengdu's jurisdiction. Compared to other sites, it had several crucial advantages. The land was relatively open, with fewer dense residential zones that would need to be demolished. That meant lower compensation and relocation costs. Even more importantly, the site didn't fall directly along the migration routes of birds, which are a notorious danger to aircraft. And with fewer mountains blocking the skies, the surrounding airspace was safer and more practical for pilots. On paper, Lujia Town was the best option but there was still one enormous problem. Even here, the land wasn't flat enough. There were hundreds of hills, ridges, and uneven slopes. To make it suitable for an airport, engineers would have to reshape the very landscape itself. And that's when the truly audacious plan was born. In early 2016, construction crews arrived at Lujia Town, armed with something other airports have never required, enough explosives to wage a small war. Over 9,000 tons of dynamite and blasting material were carefully buried beneath the region's hills. Their mission was as straightforward as it was insane, flatten over 370 mountaintops and level the ground until it was flat enough to host one of the world's largest airports. The scale of destruction and reconstruction is, honestly, hard to even imagine. Blasts shook the earth day after day, carving out massive chunks of rock and soil. By the end of the campaign, more than 180 million cubic meters of earth and stone had been moved. That's the equivalent of filling 70,000 Olympic swimming pools. But what made the project even more impressive wasn't just the demolition. Instead of letting all that debris go to waste, 
engineers found a way to reuse it. Over 100 million cubic meters of the blasted rock was recycled to fill valleys and low-lying areas around the site. The result was a completely re-engineered landscape, one where ridges and peaks were replaced by smooth, level terrain, big enough for multiple runways and terminals. In less than a year, an entire region had been reshaped by human hands. The transformation was so dramatic that if you compared satellite images from before and after, you'd hardly recognize it as the same location. But even after flattening mountains, the challenges were far from over. Because what came next had never been done anywhere in the world before. Leveling mountains was already an engineering marvel, but what came next pushed the limits of imagination even further. Most airports are designed around runways, terminals, and highways. Chengdu Tianfu, however, had something that no other international airport in the world had ever attempted, a high-speed railway running directly through the terminal. This wasn't just any rail line. It was a 350 km per hour bullet train, the same type of system China has become globally famous for. At that speed, the rail connection would let passengers from across Sichuan, and even from neighboring provinces, reach the airport in a fraction of the usual travel time. It meant Tianfu wouldn't just be Chengdu's airport, it would be the new international gateway for much of western China. But laying a high-speed railway beneath an active airport was unlike any engineering problem China had ever faced. There was no global precedent, no blueprint to follow. The challenge was staggering. How do you place a rail system traveling at hundreds of kilometers per hour underneath a structure that's supposed to handle 60 million passengers a year? without creating constant vibrations and structural risks? To solve it, engineers designed an ultra-thick gradient arched plate support system, essentially a massive, reinforced structural shield that spread the weight of the airport above and absorbed shocks from below. On top of that, they developed a unique vibration reduction system with 694 specially engineered dampening structures buried beneath the terminal. Each one was designed to cancel out the intense vibrations of trains rushing past, protecting both the building and the comfort of travelers inside. The result was a feat that stunned the global engineering community. No other airport had dared to attempt something like this. With the high-speed rail running seamlessly through the facility, Tianfu became a showcase of how aviation and rail could be fused into a single unified transport hub. It wasn't just about flying. It was about creating a true gateway to the future. Turning this bold vision into reality required a scale of construction rarely seen in modern history. The total investment for Tianfu International Airport exceeded 10 billion US dollars, with plans divided into two massive phases. The first phase broke ground in May 2016. Thousands of workers, engineers, and specialists were mobilized to the site. Heavy machinery carved up the landscape day and night. What's striking is not just how much work had to be done, but how fast it was carried out. Just five years later, an incredibly short time frame for a project of this size, Phase 1 officially opened in June 2021. This phase included three runways, two massive terminals, the high-speed railway, and all the core infrastructure needed to get the airport operational. It was an achievement that highlighted China's reputation for delivering megaprojects faster than anyone else in the world. But Phase 1 was only the beginning. Phase 2 is already underway, with completion targeted for the end of 2027. This expansion will add even more terminals and runways, boosting capacity and ensuring the airport can keep pace with the city's rapid growth. By the time it's finished, Tianfu won't just be an airport. It'll be a global transportation super hub on a scale few countries have ever attempted. The speed of construction was jaw-dropping. To put it in perspective, many international airports take a decade or more just to build a single terminal expansion. Chengdu built an entire new global gateway from scratch in half that time. And when it finally opened its doors, what travelers found inside was just as breathtaking as the engineering that went into making it possible. When Chengdu Tianfu International Airport finally opened in 2021, it wasn't just another piece of infrastructure. It was a statement. From the moment passengers step inside, it's clear this place was built to impress, both in scale and in symbolism. The airport sprawls across a massive 720,000 square meters of construction area. To put that into perspective, it's roughly the size of more than 100 football fields stitched together. At its heart are two giant terminals, 
Terminal 1 covering 390,000 square meters, and Terminal 2 covering another 320,000 square meters. Combined, they form one of the largest terminal complexes in Asia. But what captures the imagination most is the design. The terminals are shaped like giant organic curves, often described as resembling the lobes of a lung. This design isn't just for aesthetics. It symbolizes Chengdu's role as a breathing hub of life, connecting the city to the rest of the world. From above, the airport looks almost alive, a futuristic gateway rooted in symbolism and culture. Of course, the design is more than just symbolic. Inside, the space is optimized for smooth passenger flow. Gates, lounges, and services are laid out to minimize walking distance, while massive skylights flood the interior with natural light, creating an open, airy atmosphere. For travelers used to crowded, dimly lit airports, Tianfu feels like stepping into the future. The numbers behind the airport's construction are staggering. More than 110,000 tons of steel were used to build the structure. That's nearly double the amount used to construct Beijing's famous Bird's Nest Stadium for the 2008 Olympics. The airport also boasts three runways, two parallel runways aligned north-south, and one perpendicular runway, giving the facility flexibility to handle heavy traffic in all weather conditions. Supporting this aviation giant are 246 aircraft parking spaces, a state-of-the-art air traffic control system, a vast fuel storage and distribution network, and fully equipped airline base facilities. Everything was designed not just for current demand, but for the massive growth expected in the years ahead. From the outside, it's hard not to see Tian Fu as a futuristic monument. But the real story lies in what it's already capable of and where it's heading next. Right now, Tian Fu International Airport has the capacity to handle around 60 million passengers a year, along with 1.3 million tons of cargo. That alone puts it among the largest airports in China. But the real vision goes much further. By 2030, the plan is to expand that capacity to a jaw-dropping 100 million passengers annually and more than 3.5 million tons of cargo. If those numbers sound familiar, it's because they rival the busiest airports in the world, like Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson in the United States or Beijing capital in China. In other words, Chengdu is positioning itself not just as a regional hub, but as one of the most important aviation centers on the planet. The implications are enormous. For Western China, an area historically seen as less connected than coastal powerhouses like Shanghai or Guangzhou, Tianfu represents a direct link to the global stage. It allows Chengdu to attract more international airlines, open direct long-haul routes to Europe, North America, and beyond, and boost its reputation as a business and tourism powerhouse. For cargo, the airport's growth is equally significant. Sichuan has become a major manufacturing base, particularly in electronics and technology. Having a world-class cargo hub right on its doorstep makes global logistics faster and more efficient. It could mean the difference between Chengdu being a strong regional city versus being a central node in international trade networks. The long-term vision is bold but clear. By the end of this decade, Chengdu Tianfu International Airport won't just be competing with the biggest names in aviation, it will be standing alongside them. And as impressive as Tianfu is, this isn't the first time China has pulled off an airport in the mountains. In fact, there's an earlier project that set the stage for this mega build, though on a much smaller scale. While Chengdu's Tianfu International Airport might feel like something out of science fiction, it wasn't the first time China attempted to carve an airport out of mountains. Nearly two decades earlier, a smaller but equally ambitious project took place in Guangxi province. Back in 2002, China built the Huqi Jingjiang Airport in a rugged, mountainous region of Guangxi. The terrain was extremely difficult, and just like in Chengdu, it required heavy blasting and land reshaping to make the site usable. At the time, it was hailed as one of the most challenging infrastructure builds in the region. The airport itself was modest compared to Tianfu, just a single 2,200-meter runway, capable of handling narrow-body jets like the Airbus A320 or Boeing 737. It wasn't meant to be a global hub. Instead, it served local tourism and mining operations, connecting a previously isolated region with the rest of China. The results, however, were undeniable. By 2024, the airport had generated nearly 40 million yuan in economic benefit for the region. Tourism numbers grew, local businesses flourished, 
and what was once a remote, hard-to-reach area became part of China's expanding aviation network. But while Hu Qijingjiang proved that building airports in mountainous terrain was possible, it also highlighted the difference in scale. Compared to Tianfu, it was like a test run, a regional project that opened the door for something far larger. Where Hu Qijingjiang handled a few million passengers, Tianfu is designed for tens of millions. Where the Guangxi project had one runway, Tianfu opened with three, with more on the way. And where Hu Qijingjiang quietly served a small part of China. Tianfu is positioning itself as a global gateway. The lesson was clear. China doesn't just repeat projects, it scales them. Every attempt becomes a stepping stone to something even bigger, even more ambitious. And Tianfu is the ultimate expression of that philosophy. When you step back and look at the bigger picture, Chengdu's Tianfu International Airport isn't just an airport, it's a symbol. A symbol of how far China is willing to go to reshape its geography, reimagine its infrastructure, and redefine its place on the world stage. In just a few short years, engineers transformed mountains into flat runways, fused aviation with high-speed rail in a way no country had ever attempted, and built a facility designed to rival the busiest hubs on Earth. It's not just about moving passengers, it's about moving ambition. Projects like Tianfu highlight China's unique brand of what many call infrastructure mania, the willingness to invest billions, move mountains, literally, and compress timelines that most other nations would consider impossible. And perhaps most importantly, they set an example. Developing nations around the world are now looking at China not just as a trading partner, but as a builder. A country that can deliver airports, railways, and entire cities on a scale and speed unmatched anywhere else. For Chengdu, the impact is already being felt. What was once a bottlenecked tourism hub is now a rising global gateway. By the end of this decade, Tianfu could be welcoming more than 100 million passengers a year, standing shoulder to shoulder with airports in Beijing, Dubai, and Atlanta. And maybe that's the real message here. In a world where most countries hesitate, China acts. Where others talk about limits, China tests them. And in Chengdu, they've proven once again that when it comes to infrastructure, there's almost nothing they won't attempt. This is only the beginning of China's next wave of mega projects. And if Tianfu is any indication, the world hasn't seen anything yet. So, if you found this story as jaw-dropping as I did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Because the next time China decides to move mountains, you won't want to miss it.